what's it mean to be free? So much in nature gives us a sense of space and freedom. But take a look at this salmon and think for a minute about its yearly struggle to return to its birthplace to spawn. What is it that drives a fish to fight so hard against the stream? We say, as free as a bird. But this swallow also has a complicated life pattern. It spends its winter in South Africa. And in the spring, it flies 3,000 miles back to this country, where it builds its nest and rears its young. At the end of our summer, back it flies to South Africa. The individual swallow has no choice about it. Like many other wild creatures, it has an inbuilt pattern to its life. So what about human beings? Do we just follow our instincts, or do we have some opportunity to choose what we do? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. From the moment we're born, we're influenced by people and things around us. This Muslim baby has been born in England but she will be affected by her family traditions and beliefs as much as by her way of life in this country. Muslims believe that at the moment when a baby is conceived, its future life is determined for it by Allah. This Hindu boy also lives in an English city. He goes to school there and receives a typically English education. But what he believes about himself and his future is largely decided for him by his family and its traditions. But does this mean that if we're conditioned by heredity and environment, everything is decided for us? I think a lot depends on the way that, you know, children especially are brought up. I mean, obviously parents can, you know, uh, direct a child's life in any direction, really. A lot depends on the parents, I think. I think as you're born, your life is planned for you. And whatever comes along, you have to take it. You make your own life to a large extent. I believe in faith. I believe that uh, a man with his uh, determination can even change his fate. But uh, I do agree that the fate is the man is destined by God. I believe that we have a choice between good and evil, and it's up to the individual to choose which path he takes. Predestiny does not exist. Man has been given the potential of evil and good. I think opportunities come along, but you, you've got to seize them yourself. It's up to the individual to you know, grab them and make something of them. Everybody gets a break, I think. It's just up to the, each person to make something of that break. Although most of us probably feel that we have some freedom of choice, our environment has a great deal to do with the shaping of our lives. We think of monkeys swinging about in treetops, but a change of environment and a little training can make them behave quite differently. Animals can become conditioned by training. Some psychologists tell us that human beings are also conditioned and have a good deal less freedom than we often suppose. But people grow up differently in different parts of the world and according to their environment and customs, they adopt different habits. Traditions may differ too. In some countries, generation after generation, sons will follow the customary work of the family. There's no question of them finding another way of life. The 
work a grandfather and father did before them, they will do. Their lives are influenced by their family traditions and background. This applies just as much to women as to men. These Tunisian carpet weavers have carried out their intricate work for over 20 years. They are restricted in movement and confined to weaving the traditional patterns of the rugs they make. And yet in one sense, they are free. Free to continue to do this work or to give it up. Only, it's a freedom that they never use. But is a freedom we never use a real freedom? We are free to do whatever we like, but is that whatever we like always good for us? Um, I'm free, if I want to, to go and steal something. But in exercising my freedom, I'm going to be punished for it, so I'm not free to do what I like. It's true that some people are deprived of their freedom as a punishment. Their imprisonment is the result of their wrongdoings. They've chosen to break society's rules. But the crimes that lead to imprisonment often run in families or in particular types of area where there is acute poverty or social need. Is society itself not partly responsible for this situation? Even in living memory, millions of people were deprived of their freedom and their lives simply because they were born Jewish. And all this happened because one group of people chose to exterminate another. Yet, do we have complete freedom to choose whether we do right or wrong? According to the Jews, man is given complete freedom. He has two sides of his nature from the beginning. The propensity to choose between good and between evil. We are free to use our faculties, our energies, in whichever channel we wish to. For centuries, poets, painters, musicians, and novelists have all wondered about the nature of freedom and the nature of the person who's lost it. Fighting for freedom has been a clarion call for generations and for people of all races, a struggle not only for physical freedom, but also for a liberty of the mind and spirit which brings with it a feeling of peace and serenity. Many modern artists, such as the Belgian painter Magritte, have attempted to show man how he can be free from the rigid concepts of the mind which imprison him in his thinking. These three familiar objects are placed in such a way that we have to break away from our usual idea of them when we see them against such an unfamiliar setting. But is freedom man's privilege or his right? Well, we, according to the Eastern belief and according to the Sikh belief, uh, a man is born with the certain givings from the God. But certain things he achieves by his hard work, by his uh, determination to do them. And that's why the Sikh people say that if you are willing to do, God helps you. God will provide you with health and strength. He will even provide somebody there to say yes when you go and ask for a job. But I certainly won't wake you up in the morning. You gotta make some effort. You gotta do your part. Sometimes loss of freedom is not imposed by others. It's self-inflicted through the use of drugs or drink or some other antisocial habit. We are free to behave like this if we want to. But if we do it, it ultimately denies us the freedom of mixing with ordinary people. In 
1948, the General Assembly of the United Nations adopted a universal declaration of human rights. Article 1 states, All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. In the writings of most of the great religions, it is taught that man's path may in part be mapped out for him by God, but that man is free to make decisions and must take responsibility for the decisions he makes. But what about things that are beyond our control? How far are we just the playthings of violent forces of nature? At the moment, events like these are completely beyond our control. In our lifetime, we may never be caught up in floods or a drought. But we might quite easily be involved in something else, like a war or a revolution. But even in time of war, we can choose whether or not we join in. Some people refuse to fight because they believe that their conscience or their religion tells them it's wrong. Christians believe that they have the freedom to choose between good and bad, that God has given them the freedom to follow him or turn from him, but that they will be held responsible for the choices they make. Hindus also have a similar belief, and one of their great poems says, as a man acts, as he behaves, so he becomes. He that does good becomes good, and he that does evil becomes evil. By virtuous actions he becomes virtuous, by bad actions he becomes bad. Perhaps we can sum up like this. In life, we're issued with our materials. Paints, colors, paper, canvas. Some gifts are hereditary. Some come to us from our environment, quite beyond our control. But is what we do with our material beyond our control? Are we really free to make what we want to out of our lives? Slavne nađe naše bogorodice i prisno djevje, Marije.